Hey everyone, welcome back to another counter side video. Today's video, we're going to dive into Nayel Blue Steel's strategy and build. But before that, if you want an updated counter side videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, guys, so we are here at Nayel Blue Steel. I'm still salty about my pulls earlier. Had to pity her banner and I didn't really like it. I'll actually put a link up there for that uh, live streaming earlier that I did in terms of her pulls. And Nayel is a is four cost. Um, I was actually skeptical at first, but bringing her in PvP um, just today was actually um, an eye opener and, and turned me into a believer. She is a striker, ground type, ground attack. So. She is actually specialized more in PvP. As we go to her stats, she has a couple of strengths such as her HP, which is above average at 47,691. Attack is also above average at 4,735. And her crit is actually above average as well at 763. So her defense is at 669, which is one of her weaknesses. And two others... Are her weaknesses are her hit rate, um, which is low, and her, um, I think, evasion, which is below average. By the way, her hit rate is actually low, so you might need to kind of tweak it a little bit so that she could hit more. For her skills, guys, she is a very fascinating um, counter. So for basic attack, valid hits is two. So it's an AoE, swings her sword, inflicting AoE damage to tell the truth, she can only handle a single sword at a time. Okay, as you can see, I'll go back to how she looks. She actually carries three swords. So I don't know where she's going to use the third one, but when she attacks, she only uses one. So I was hoping for a dual wielding um, counter, but it didn't happen, so it's okay. Anyway, for her level two, three, and four, it's a basic of attack plus uh, 20%. Passive skill is going to be Ethereal Overdrive. Valid hits is 2, so an AoE again for her passive. After every 4th basic attack, she delivers an enhanced attack. Inflicting AoE damage increases her attack speed by 50% for 5 seconds if any unit in the battlefield is killed. So it doesn't necessarily mean that she has to kill it. As long as anybody is killed, she is going to trigger this passive. Can't be renewed during buff. Okay, levels 2, 3, and 4, a damage resistance of a plus 8%. At level 5, increases enhanced attack damage by up to 75%. Inverse proportion to current HP. Inverse proportion is actually opposite. It's just a, you know, it's just a more complex way of saying that it's going to be opposite of her HP. So basically, if her HP is going to be low... Um, this one is going to be bigger if her HP is going to be high, so it's going to be lower. Special skill attacks also count. Okay, special info, Starlight Inverse Strike. Her This is her special skill at 22 seconds. This is one of the skills that I really, really like. So Valid Hits is 3. Charges forward and inflicts AoE, kind of similar to the charge of Awakened Hilde. Damage on contact with the first enemy in her path. Seals the Affected target skill for 6 seconds. This is actually what I like. And bosses are not excluded, which I don't like. But anyway, this is why she is only good most primarily in PvP. So the, the, the ceiling of the skill for 6 seconds is a long duration, guys. And it's a AoE of 3 hits. So think of that. Um, 3 targets that cannot, you know... Um, do their skills it's this is really bonkers guys levels two three and four damage is going to be a plus at plus 25 percent level five for her special skills immune to damage for two basic attacks after skill okay very good contributes to her survivability and her ultimate skill call blade catastrophe it's a cooldown of 46 seconds valid hits is for summon spirit swords Okay, inflicting AoE damage on and around the target. And um, level 2, 3, and 4 damage is going to be um, a plus 25%. Blinds all enemies for 4 seconds after the skill. So again, she has uh, seal skill. She has blind. She is a, she, for me, she's, going, she's a perfect debuffer. And 
at four cost, I think it's justifiable. I think so. I think so. Especially if you go beyond 100, uh, level 100, you go if you have her up to 110. She's going to be a monster in PvP. Okay, to start off with her gear. Gear sets. Um, I've had conversations actually with um, a couple of people. And um, the ones that have been out is either going to be CDR or attack speed. So attack speed to trigger her passive as frequently as often. Or you have CDR trigger your special and ultimate skill as often as possible so but for this build this this gear is actually not hers i just borrowed the, these gears um i think i borrowed these from i don't know who i think it's from yuna but again um she is going to have good gear. she she's she should have good cdr gears um preferably at least um for me, on my end, I'd like to max her her CDR, but some are saying that if you go with CDR for her gear set, then your substat should be others like HP, so to increase her survivability. That can be, but for me, I'm happy with a 70%. This is, I think this is 70% skill haste. I'm happy. Actually, I tried this out earlier and very happy with the results, and I think it increases her survivability more because she was able to cast her special and her ultimate that often so again gear set cdr attack speed um if you're gonna go with attack speed make sure that you also have gear sets for cdr so again gear stats would be hp or cdr gear set again going back would be cdr or attack speed so the gear set that i'm referring to is this one the yellow one so you could actually have those cdr or you could enhance that to hp Okay, Dayel Blue Steel, let's just send out some, some goodies here and have them on. <clears throat> as you can see here, uh, as you as you actually um, deploy her, she will use her special skill and she is actually a good um, off tank. So basically you have a tank in front, uh, whether a defender or another striker who is tanky enough to take some hits and she is good once she applies her uh, both her or uh, either her special skill or ultimate skill sometimes it's going to be hard for the opponent especially for her special skill the seal skill is actually crazy and um it really benefits her and her team as well that is what that is why i'm encouraging you guys to do a cdr set or if you really really want an attack speed one let's take a look at her special skill guys so that is the the charge that i've been look that, that i was referring to and let's um let's do a her ultimate skill her ultimate skill the swords and attack so it's like an ethereal sword a couple of ethereal swords that uh can pierce an enemy i think this is also um going to be sorry the um, the debuff for that one is going to be i forgot the debuff already but um the seal skill is for her special skill but again her ultimate is going to be terrific and it is actually her face is very funny with that smirk and it really deals so you know, it gives actually blind so it has blindness and it's an aoe ultimate skill as well um there were three targets that were hit so around that um number will be blind as well so blind is more or less um saying that um your enemies cannot hit you and again she is going to be a headache um i think moving forward i'm still thinking of whether i should um, i should um take her to 110 but time will tell okay so anyway guys let's move on from her deployment strategy okay guys so here are my final thoughts on nayel so for pvp she is a 9 out of 10 very good off tank works well with new detroit and with um a rush team so basically if you're into pvp and you like to climb pvp um in terms of the rankings then be my guest you can summon for her and she is going to really help your gameplay in terms of pvp 
for PvE, she isn't used well. Um, I would score her a 5 out of 10. So we have to wait for Shadow Palace for her to be used. Uh, by the way, for PvP, I'm going to score her a 9 out of 10. Because um, the only thing that is going to be a drawback for her is going to be her. She's at 4. So we're actually, um, most of us are accustomed to 3 or 2. Um, striker units she's going to be a four so again um her skill is going to have to provide you more value at four but if you build her well she will really give you good value and will be and you will be able to you know compete well in p okay guys so for those who have stuck this far in this video thank you very much and please do consider subscribing to my channel because this helps me a lot. Don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss any counter side videos. Also, don't forget to put a like to this video if you find this informative. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden and I.